Hello everybody, welcome back to Raider Weekly. I'm Ian Monsur, as you hopefully have known who I am from the legends I've done here. Um, we have Clay on the left and Austin on the right. And today they're going to interview me, but they were too scared to say this. I'm ready. All right, we'll start off with the first question. Uh, you are a former student. So this is correct. I did graduate here 2017. School of the Year. I believe we were high school school of the year. There's a poster out in the uh, gymnasium. Um, you're welcome to that. That was <laughs> done by me. Oh, yeah. Or our three students that had perfect ACTs. Shout out to you guys. No, I don't know. It's him exclusively. Don't, oh, don't sorry. Listen, sorry. What was the question again? Um, <laughs> where are you now since you've been out of the school for a little bit? Um, I traveled the world. Uh, I went to Frontenac in Pittsburgh, and um, I really learned a lot throughout those experiences. Um, go to Pittsburgh State, if that was a tough one to answer. Um, I graduate this year on the bright side, uh, but I have not left here. Uh, Sounds sad to say that, but uh, one day I will. But I'm gonna get my master's degree at Pittsburgh State, uh, get my MBA, and then after that, we will uh, hopefully then travel the world. But as for now, I have not moved. That was a really awkward question. It made me feel bad for not leaving. All right, next question. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite memory? memory? It's my favorite memory of high school? Yeah. Oof. Um, I would say being able to build a friendship with the teachers, in whether it's a good or a bad way. I really enjoy doing that on a daily basis, and uh, yeah, that'll be my answer. <laughs> uh, do you have any uh, Raider Weekly exclusive memories? Or? Do I have any Raider Weekly exclusive memories? I would say uh, just being able to do the lip syncs with uh, bringing teachers in for the lip syncing, that was always fun. Uh, hopefully, you guys still do that, and if not, um, Mr. Morris is a heck of a lip singer. I bring him in, he's a great singer. Um, All right, we gotta try that. Yep. Um, how has COVID affected you? Have so, you around for a little bit longer? COVID is a very serious thing, first of all, I say that, and I was like, I'm very thankful for everything that we've done to uh, help prevent it around here. Um, it has affected me personally in a good way. I was able to like have good self-realization of being home and quarantined and for the months that we were uh, realizing the areas I lacked in, such as physical fitness. So ever since COVID started, I've actually been doing a lot better on my physical health, been running a lot more, lifting a lot more, and it just uh, had a lot. I mean, with COVID, you, everyone got a lot of time on their hands because you stayed at home and did nothing. So uh, through that, I've been able to uh, develop better habits from it because although it's a national tragedy and a worldwide pandemic, you got to find light in the situation. So I gained a new hobby of uh, working out, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, what would... about you? What have you done? Oh, I've done How has it affected you, Austin? <laughs> Gosh. Um, it's affected me a lot. I gotta wear a mask every day for the betterment of everyone. You know, keep your masks on, safety. Uh, besides that. <laughs> you right? Good idea. Yeah, Clay. Um, uh, besides that, I haven't really gone on any spiritual journeys or physical journeys. Spiritual. Yeah. It's been cleansed. All right, next question. Thank you. Um, Clay, what do you have for me? What would you give to the high school students that are going to the real world? What would, would I give them? I would give them hope. Uh, I've watched Star Wars. There's a lot of good hope in Star Wars. Um, you no, know, okay. Um, I give advice. I'm assuming you want me to give advice. Yeah. My best advice would be, it's basic, it's simple, but it really applies to a lot. Always be yourself, and uh, short moments do not define you. As in, whatever happening in high school, it does not define who you are. Do not let it change you. I promise you, who I am in high school is relatively to I, who I still am today. And it's not a bad thing. Some teachers might think differently, but just been able to, you know, you find a place in the world, whatever you do, whatever you are, um, people you hang out with, your interests, is, everyone aligns with that. And it's always good to uh, always be yourself, focus on yourself and never stop learning to grow, whether it's spiritually, physically, or mentally. Never stop learning. I guess it's like 10 advices in one. You're welcome. <laughs> you guys take notes, good deal. Yeah, I got it. No, I went down my head. Good deal, good deal. Um, and finally, what do you miss I, most? Uh, what I miss most? Yeah, Ooh. about high school. Um, I really enjoyed high school and I still always keep enjoying it. Um, I don't look back on it like it was the glory days because there's a lot of light for always keep learning. I mean, the average human lives to be like 70. You probably should know this, you're in high school. 70, 72, 75, uh, 80, 100, I think the American woman 200 lives 80. 80. But um, it's only about a fourth of your life, so you should always just keep going forward. What I like the most about it is just being able to come in and see your friends throughout a solid eight hours of the day. That's something that you don't see as much when you get older. Uh, being able to just have classes like this, talking with humans, uh, and uh, talking with humans. I talked to aliens in college <laughs> classes. No, but uh, 
you just it's more you get a lot of free time post high school so it's just nice being able to come in here for eight hours and see all your friends and have basically time of your life <laughs> and then i still do but uh you don't get to see a lot of the people that you graduate high school with once you uh, graduate high school so which makes sense actually but uh anything else well, i'm a lot of questions well i'm not all right let's hear him we got to spit at me what is your gpa <laughs> Be Thank, honest, you. Be honest, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you uh, for participating in my interview. It was a pleasure to be here, and it was. Uh, hope everyone's having a great time and a great year. And uh, let's finish strong. The seniors who are graduating, congratulations. Hope you go to Pitt State because I'm a recruiter now. And uh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful week of Raider Weekly. This is sports with me, Brody O'Malley, and I. Special guest, Parker Beckman. Good. I'm gonna start off with a few questions for Parker, the first year golfer. Parker, how has your first year been so far golfing? Uh, I like it a lot better than baseball, as a lot of people ask me about. But yeah, I like it a lot. It's been pretty rocky so far. Rocky. Uh, how was your tournament yesterday? Today? Uh, we took first as a team. Nice. Um, I think. Second place was like 40 strokes behind us, so we like, sheesh, killed them. Sheesh, sheesh. What did you, what did you play? Did you play? Uh, I think I placed like 10th. Nice, nice. Parker Beckman has been rolling this year for his first year golfing. Um, quarantine really got him uh, on the links. That's correct. That's nice. Um, what's your best score this year in a competitive tournament? Mm, I shot a 84 at Torres, our first tournament, and I took fourth place. Nice, nice. Yeah. What's your best score that you've ever scored? Just going out on the weekend? Um, I don't really keep scoring on the weekends at all, yeah. but I usually like to golf with friends. Nice, yes, yes. He does like to golf with friends. I do like to golf with friends, for sure. Parker's hard to golf with because he's so good. Is that like, that's a true I'm one. like, I'm like not much of a golfer, golfer, you know what I'm saying? So like, um, in the sports for this week, uh, Friday, tomorrow, we have forensics, the national qualifier at 4 p.m. at 4.30. We have varsity and JV, JV baseball here at home against Prairie View. Um, boys, let's run with them. Clay, let's run with them, okay? Yeah. I got I to gotta be in the box. I'm not trying to be up there until 8 o'clock. I got things to do. <laughs> Uh, at 4.30, we also have softball against Prairie View. So come pop out, watch. And next week, we have golf at 3 yep. p.m. At, Fort, at Scott. Fort Scott. Very nice course. It, it, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, two days. It's got, it, it can't be any worse than Fort Jones. Yeah, Fort, it can't be. No. Uh, no, 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 no. That's debatable. That's debatable. Okay. Not, not a very nice course. No. It's, we'll, get not. A, we'll get them to see. Um, and then next week, also on Monday, we have varsity baseball and varsity softball starting at 4.30 against the Trojans of Girard. We're going to smack them. Correct. And that's all for sports. This has been a great show with Mr. Beckman. We'll see you next week. What's up, Raiders, and welcome back to Raider Weekly's Odd News segment. I'm Caden. And I'm Carson. And today we will be covering odd news that has happened fairly recently in the world. Let's get started. On March 29th, 2021, Ravens were accused of stealing groceries from Alaska Costco customers. Matt Llewellyn claims that as he was packing groceries into his car, two Ravens swooped down and stole a short rib from his cart. On March 19th, 2021, a Trump wax figure was moved in Texas because people kept punching it in the face. Customers kept scratching and punching it so violently that it kept leaving marks on the face and it had to be moved to storage. On March 11th, 2021, a half-eaten sausage solved a nine-year-old German burglary. The German police found the DNA of a man in France who had been detained for a completely unrelated crime on a sausage. It solved the unsolved burglary. Wild Australian sheep was sheared of 78 pounds of wool. The wild sheep was found in a forest and it was named Ba Rock by its rescuers. All of the wool on this sheep measured up to be about half the weight of an adult kangaroo. The sheep was found 60 kilometers north of Melbourne, Australia.
That's all the odd news we have for this segment. Caden, what was your favorite story? I'd say my favorite story was about the thieving little ra ravens. That story is probably my favorite one as well. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed odd news. On to the next segment. Hey Raiders, welcome back to another interview segment. Today I'm here with one of the class officers, Sarah Wood, and today I'm going to be asking her some questions about prom. Uh, what day is prom? Um, April 24th. Awesome. And what are the times? Like what time does everything start? What time does everything end? Such as promenade, the dance? Um, promenade will start at 6 o'clock and then the dance and then we go to dinner and then the dance will start at 8. Awesome. What's the theme of the dance? Um, it's like Mediterranean, Mamma Mia. Awesome. Where's it? Uh, the location going to be? Um, it's going to be at the Senior Citizen Center uh, by the police station in Broadway. Awesome. Awesome. Do you know what like kind of snacks we're going to be having? What everything? Um, we can't have snacks at the dance due to COVID, but um, for dinner we're thinking about either um, Alfredo or. Uh, pulled pork sandwiches. That's all the questions we have for you today. So thank you for your time and see you guys next week. Hello, welcome. I'm back at home today, but I'm going to run through uh, just like three or four pieces of little quick bite news that is kind of important at the moment and you should probably pay attention to. Biden plans on withdrawing all troops from Afghanistan by September 11th, according to CBS News. Um, however, according to The Guardian, there are a lot of uh, specifically Afghanistan women that are afraid this move will lead to the return of the Taliban. The Wall Street Journal reported that the former officer that shot Dante Wright will be facing second degree manslaughter charges. Also, according to The Guardian, the situation in North Korea when it comes to medical care has gotten so bad that Russian diplomats are making a mass exit. And if you want a news story that's not necessarily current, but is kind of important, you can go read The Washington Post's uh, newest piece on how the San um, Bernardino's shooter's phone was unlocked during that standoff with Apple and the United States government. Um, and it was actually unlocked by a hacker group in Australia. The story is really interesting. You should definitely go read it. I think it's really cool. Um, but that's all for today. Those are just some quick bite moments of stuff that you might find important and that you should find important. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Just welcome back to Raider Weekly. I am not at school this week again, so I can't do a normal segment with everyone else. So I'm going to be doing my own segment about keyboards. And I'm going to be talking about switches, the different colors of them, and the different, like, types of switches. So let's get straight into that. Mechanical keyboards use a thing called switches. There are three main different types of switches, and each one has their own different colors. So first off, there's linears. Linears are a smooth, like, press. There is no click bar. There is no, like, bump like there are in other switches. And they usually come in colors red, yellow, or black. And then next, there's tactile. Tactiles... When pressing it down, not, they're not like linears. Like when you press them down, there's a bump and they can be towards the middle or they can be higher or they can be lower. It really just depends on which switch you get. And the main color for those are browns. But you can also find them in like really weird names. Like there's holy pandas, there's kiwis, dragon fruits, and there's also, there's true halos. Those are all, those are also tactiles. And then lastly, we have clickies. Clickies aren't that different from tactiles. They're mostly the same, they have that bump, but the bump produces like a click sound. Like the bump is a click bar, and that's the only real difference from tactiles. And those usually come in the colors blue, white, or green. And those are found in like a lot of the name brand keyboards like that you'll find. You'll find like Razor Purples or Razor Greens. Like those are the really big, like popular ones. So that's all for my segment of Raider Weekly. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about keyboards and now on to the next segment. That's it for Radio Weekly. We got a couple of announcements before we uh, cut it off. So this week there's just a lot of sports coming up. Like there's a ton of stuff. Like absolutely, we fill up two pages worth of sports. So mm. yeah, we're not gonna mention them all because it would take like a longer than the actual episode. And uh, besides that, what do we got to play? Um, senior trip Friday. Be ready. Prom's coming up. Have those grades up. Yeah. And if you don't have a date, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you just out of luck. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, Sapley's available though. Girls, if yeah. you. Okay. No, he's going with me. 
He's going with me, guys. <laughs> okay. He's going with me. And right, I guess that'll wrap it up. That's it. See y'all next time. Peace.